Hi, this is Jeanette with RunningShoes.com. I'm here at Outdoor Retailer, joined by Pat at the Saucony booth, and we're going to check out the Hattori LC. Pat, what can you, what can you tell me about the, the new Hattori? Sure, yeah, so this is the update to the Hattori. Um, a couple things that we really wanted to work on is we wanted to work on ease of entry. So the LC and the Hattori, after a Hattori stands for lace. So this is a laced version of that shoe that, that you guys loved in the past. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to get on. It also allows you to adjust it a little bit easier so you can kind of get that customized fit um, after you lace this, uh, this, this shoe up. Uh, the other area that we really wanted to work on was durability in the toe area. So we added a little bit more of a toe bumper here. What that does is it allows it so that that toe gets some more protection here in the forefoot, but also so that it doesn't pop through the mesh here in the upper. Some of the great things that, about the Hattori are still here. So we have a really nice stretch mesh here uh, in the forefoot. really works with the foot. So when your foot uh, starts to paw towards the ground as it, it's about to land, it allows that foot to move and really grab that, uh, grab that surface. Um, still extremely lightweight and 4.4 ounces. A lot of that comes from this outsole. So we have an EVA Plus outsole um, that gives you great traction, great cushioning, um, and the durability of this is really strong. And then what we have is our XT900 uh, rubber in the heel and in the toe-off area. Now it's funny, a lot of people said, hey, you know, if you're doing a minimal shoe, don't you want to be more of a midfoot striker? And the reality is, is these pa this pad in the heel is here is actually here to help you become more of a midfoot striker. Because if you do strike in the heel on this shoe, it's not going to hurt you or anything, but it's going to remind you to get more up onto your midfoot. So it really is kind of a sensory uh, thing that, that allows you to know, hey, I need to get up more onto my midfoot. So it allows you to kind of adjust your gait as you're running along. And then in the toe-off area, what we wanted to do is just give them a really nice platform to toe off from. So this is a, definitely a barefoot shoe with, at zero drop. Is there any precautions that people need to take if they're going to be running in a zero drop shoe? Absolutely. I mean, you need to take your time. You need to do it in moderation. Uh, you know, one of the worst things you could do is, is start running 100 miles a week in a shoe like this if you're not used to running in a shoe like this. Um, so what you want to do is you, you, want to, you want to take it out the first time, just go, just go for a short distance, get your body used to it, and then slowly incorporate it. It really is a great tool to use a couple times a week to really kind of work your body and muscles a little bit differently. All right, that's great. Thank you so much, Pat. This has been Jeanette with RunningShoes.com.